What is going on guys? Welcome back, Commentary Freedom. Regular Dave came back after an absence on YouTube and he talked about how YouTube had ruined sports gaming for him. Mentioned football in there and I wanted to kind of do a video because to me it's almost been the complete opposite. You know, YouTube has really reignited my passion for football gaming. It's allowed me a platform to look at older games like All Pro Football 2K8 here and reinvent the way the game is viewed reinvent the minor things the details that this game has and compare it to a modern game like madden and the way things are handled differently things that could be handled better things that aren't handled better it's allowed me the ability to look at older games the people today playing the game i think we take for granted may have never played you know a child buying madden 19 this year has not probably played nfl 2k5 on a prior generation console but aside from that it's given us the ability to interact with all these developers from EA to 505 to 2K, but also the influx of independent developers. And they've listened to us so much. They've given me so much faith in what we can expect to have done in a product if we just ask and show them examples. You know, we've got other companies coming in like IMV Gaming. They've got their own vision of what football gaming can be, their Bring Back Greatness campaign. And this creates a whole new world of ideas and concepts and wishes for what a football game can be and yep yeah, sure we've had some that have not lived up to the expectation we've had some that have not even released games but with every disappointment there's also been a reason to be emphatic and i feel like if i didn't have a football gaming community if i didn't have an outlet to talk about these things if i was just doing it like i used to sitting by myself going through a replay and asking why or trying to understand what happens on a given play to create an outcome, I probably would have given up on sports gaming a long time ago. But we're fortunate that we have a community that will interact and listen and respond and watch and create and know that it's not just you that has these problems in games. It's a whole bunch of people. It's not just you that wants the game better. It's a whole bunch of people. And yes, we used to only be able to focus on one or two game modes. And yes, the advent of online gaming has changed just about everything we can expect to see in the whole gaming community. People found My Player fun. People found Mutt fun. Those things might not have been possible a few years ago. You know, when I grew up, we played franchise and that was it. And a lot of what I've talked about is what I felt has been either the slow death or complete neglect of franchise modes. But I also know that we have gaming companies willing to bring them back now based solely on our demand for them. And I can't think that that's ruined anything. Because if it wasn't for our involvement, these things wouldn't be happening. If we weren't showing the marketplace there was a desire and a demand for a franchise-based football game, for a different look at football, for a unique aspect of football, these companies wouldn't be creating games. And I probably would have lost interest in gaming a long time ago because to be quite honest, I have a hard time just seeing Madden quench my thirst for football gaming. Say all the positive things you want about it, the game does tend to get repetitive and stale year after year. So I appreciate anyone that has a counterpoint to that. I appreciate anyone that says, well, I used to just take a game at face value, but then I watched someone's channel and I saw these problems and now every time it happens, I know why and it's ruined the game. I appreciate that sentiment. I understand that in a way my channel can impact Madden negatively, can hurt a Madden gamer negatively, can make them not enjoy the game as much. But I don't look at that as the sole purpose of the channel. I look at the sole purpose of the channel as what it's done for just about every other game, which is help improve them, make them better, and create better products for us as consumers, because that's ultimately what we want. I don't want to sit here and talk about Madden 19 negatively for a year. I want to sit here and give Madden 20 the benefit of the doubt in becoming a better product based on the falls the current game has. But that doesn't mean that some people don't see it as an anti-Madden channel. But I would actually beg to differ. I, I would say the channels that try to cultivate a positive Madden experience and don't want the game to get better, they would actually be the anti-Madden channel. Because if you don't want forward progress, if you don't want something to get better, then you don't want it 
to be as good as it can be, and inherently, you're negative. So I'd love to know what you guys think about this. I appreciate you taking time to check it out, and you know I'll be back in a week with more comments.